So let me tell you what I'm going to do for these headlights on this thing. I'd kind of like to have it where these headlights, you could turn them on and off and they'd work. I think that'd be pretty cool. But before I talk about that, let's talk about this little running light right here. What I'm going to do is, is I'm going to use one of these replacement lights for like a utility trailer. I bought this thing at Northern. I think it was about two dollars. And I think that's going to work pretty cool. It's a two and a half inch light, and I cut that hole two and a half inches. So it's going to fit just perfect in there. Now, I'm going to have to come up with some way to attach it. Probably what I'll do is run a couple of strips of, you know, real thin ply across this light and attach it, you know, to the light. And then I can attach the whole assembly, you know, to this piece right here. So I think that's going to work pretty good. Now originally I thought that I'd just leave these as kind of dummy lights because the headlights are going to be off 110 where you can just plug it into an outlet. Um, but I got to thinking what I can do is probably wire up a battery box and just you know wire it up to a couple of 9 volt batteries, put a switch on it. I don't know if you can see it coming on and off. But I think that'll work pretty good and make it pretty neat. So that's what I'm going to do on the running light. Now, as I was thinking about what I'd do for these headlights, what I came up with was just a, a basic recessed shower light. Now, you could take this thing and just run it through your hole and secure it and all that kind of stuff, and it'd probably work okay, but I'm gonna be honest with you, I'm not crazy about this retaining ring right here. And the more I studied on it, I'm not real crazy about this lens. What I'm afraid it'd look like is, is a Jeep grill with two shower lights put in it. And what I really want is more of a, a retro look. So basically I'm gonna throw everything away except this little housing right here. And that's gonna fit perfectly down in the hole we cut out. I'll secure it in. I'll put a couple of screws on the inside lip here and secure it in. Don't have to be real strong. It'll just hold it in place. Then I'm gonna cut my own lens. And I'm going to cut it out of acrylic. Now acrylic is clear and I don't want a clear lens, so I'm going to take some 220 sandpaper and scuff it up and sand it down and rough it up a little bit and it puts a real nice frosted look on this piece of acrylic. Then it'll just lay in place right there. Then I've got to come up with some kind of way to make a retaining ring to hold this whole assembly together. So what I've done is I took a piece of half inch plywood and I've built my own retaining ring and this is going to lay right over top of our lens and I'll put some you know maybe three really small screws to hold this in place you're going to have to be able to take it off so you can get in there and change the bulb out so I'll put some real small screws in there you probably won't even see them and I think that that's going to look pretty cool and I think it's going to give this thing that that retro look that I'm, I'm trying to go for. So let me go ahead and make up another lens and another retaining ring and I'll show you how I do that. Now my jig requires me to have a little hole in the material that I'm cutting so that I can run this pin through it and that pin goes through the jig and it holds everything into place. Now I don't want to drill a hole plumb through this acrylic so what I'm going to do is drill about halfway through it just to get me a hole that I can sink this pin into. And that'll work just fine. So I've got my jig set up and I'm ready to make my cut. And I'll tell you, this acrylic really raises a ruckus when you go cutting it. Now they make uh, bits that will cut through this stuff, you know, pretty good, but I don't have one. I'm just using a straight cut bit. So it, it causes a ruckus and you gotta go kinda slow because that material will start melting and it'll gob up in your cut. So I'm gonna take small little passes and just probably spin this thing four or five times until I get a real nice clean cut. So let's go ahead and do that.
Now I just need to clean the edges of this up and that'll look pretty good. So that turned out pretty good. And all I'm going to do now is just take some 220 sandpaper and just kind of rough this thing up, kind of a swirling motion. You see how it's getting kind of foggy and frosted looking? I'll just work with that for a little while until I get it kind of frosted enough. And that'll make a good headlight lens. Now the next thing we got to do is cut out these retaining rings. And there's a lot of cuts that go into this in order to be able to end up with something that this lens can fit down in and we can mount up to our project. Now, we obviously have an outside cut. We have an inside cut. And then we have this relief here that we, we have to cut. So I've made up a template here so I can keep up with how to set my router jig up every time and not have to be reinventing the wheel every time I do it. So I'll use this to get me set up. Now the first thing that I'm going to do, the first cut is I'm just going to mark the outside perimeter. I'm going to just make a cut so I can keep up with it. Then I'm going to come in and start cutting this relief out right here. And I got to be really careful because we want to have it cut just deep enough that that lens will fit down in there. Now once I get that cut out, what I'll do is I'll go back and go ahead and just cut this outside perimeter all the way through. And then I'll come in and cut this inside hole right here. Okay, so I'm trying to work out this, this whole bumper. And what I've got now, I've extended this bumper past the end of this assembly about three inches on each side. That might be a little bit big and I may end up cutting that down a little bit. But the big challenge right now is figuring out how to attach this bumper. Now on the actual vehicle, the bumper, the frame, or the bumper mount or whatever actually comes out below this grill assembly. But I can't really do that. I wouldn't have a way to attach it and keep it secure. So about all I know to do is, is come in here on these ends and notch it out so that I can lay a support in there and run screws, maybe two screws on the side. And I think that would keep it you know, pretty good and strong. Now, the piece that I'm going to use is two and a quarter inches. And it, just, it was a scrap that I had, but it actually kind of works out pretty good. So I can notch out about an inch and a half right here. And then when I get the bumper on there and get it centered up, it's not it's not really hiding anything and, and it'll look pretty good. Now I'm going to go ahead and put this whole entire assembly together. And I'm going to use pocket screws, but I went ahead and put a smidge of wood glue in that joint right there. You don't really have to, but it will make it a little bit stronger. Okay, so here's our bumper mount. Got all that worked out. We extend out about three inches in the front and two inches in the back. I've drilled two holes right here and I've countersunk them and I'm just using just some regular old wood screws to hold them in place. And that feels pretty good and strong. And uh, I may, when I paint this, I may just cover that in with, with wood putty. That way you'll never see it. Okay, so I've worked out everything on this bumper. I'm going to start out with a Forstner bit. And I'm going to countersink a hole maybe 3 8 of an inch. And I'll show you why in just a second. So here again, I'm just using some two inch wood screws. I'm gonna run them in here. I'm not gonna tighten it up real tight because I'm gonna take this all back apart to paint it. And now, when I get done, I can put these little plugs in there. 
And I think that's going to look really cool. It's going to look like a couple of big rivets. So now we're kind of starting to look like something. I got a few other things I need to work out, but we're just going to keep moving. I think that'd be pretty cool. Um, and I want more of that, that modern, on it. That's gonna give this thing kind of more of a, on it, I screwed all that up. Still kind of working that through. Nope, I think that battery's dead. God Almighty.